You wanted to go to FIT yeah. to be a fashion designer, but you, for some reason you didn't go. You ended up at Southern Illinois, right? No, Southern Illinois first. Ah. Didn't finish that. But uh, it was just, I don't know. I, I didn't want to be there necessarily. I really wanted to be in New York, and I wasn't loving my classes. Right. I was really, really excited to go to college, and I, I was really pretty geeked up about, I want to do art classes, I want to do fashion classes. I knew exactly what I wanted to start doing. I was like, I'm going to take a photography <laughs> class. And I went in, and my guidance counselor, which I wish now I could go back and be like, you suck. You <laughs> suck at your job. They said, they're like, you can't double major in fashion and art. And they're like, just take your electives and worry about this stuff junior, senior year. You weren't stimulated. It That's cr- what it was. crushed me. So I still say it is amazing. You go to the Groundlings, and I don't even know how you... Why'd you give up on fashion? If you, I mean, how did you know to go I, into... You know, would, it was you, the would, second night I was in New York. I moved here with my friend, and the first night... He was already here. Yeah. By the way, he said, come move in with me, and he was staying on someone's couch, which I did not know. <laughs> I did not know until I showed up, and this girl came out of the bedroom and was like, what the hell are you doing here? I was like... I just moved to New York. I was invited. I was, yeah. And Brian's like, oh, sorry. (laughs) He was just crashing with somebody and invited me to move to New York. Do you still know this guy? Yeah, I saw him last night. He's my best friend since I was like 15. What a crazy fucking guy. (laughs) What does he do? (laughs) He, Brian Atwood, he's a huge uh, shoe designer. Oh, okay. And the second night he goes, you're going to do stand up. Oh my god. And I was like, all right. We were in like, we were in a grocery store, literally like splitting a bagel because we both were completely broke. He goes, You're going to go do an open mic night tomorrow night. I'm like, All right. Why would he decide that? Out of what? We had, I mean, we had been friends all like since high school and he always, he knew you were funny. dabbled with He's like, You should be, you should be doing this. What did you do? What did you do when you got up on stage? Were you good? I went in a wig. I went as Miss Y. I didn't go as myself because I was like, I don't know how to say anything, but I can do it as a character. Right. And who is Miss Y? It was what people called me in college because I went, my parents always called me Missy. I grew up as Missy. And this very eccentric woman said, I could never call you Missy. I will call you Miss Y. It's like, (laughs) all right. (laughs) And it it weirdly (laughs) stuck. And I was Miss Y like through my short college years and uh, went up on stage. I didn't know I was supposed to write. And once I got up there, I was like, oh. And I just started telling weird, long, self-involved stories. And people laughed. And it went well, except I didn't know to get off. I didn't know what the light meant, so. Oh. And I got, I got. <laughs> you went I too got long. Scre- yeah, I thought it was encouraging. Right. Uh-huh. Because he flashed it when somebody, when people laughed, and I was like, all right. right yeah. The booth is loving this. The light. 